And the Obama and Romney campaigns are bombarding the airwaves with negative attacks and counterattacks. Are these ads working? Michael Feldman is a Democratic strategist and a partner with the Glover Park Group. And John Fury is a Republican strategist, also with Quinn Gillespie Communications, former top aide on Capitol Hill to the former speaker. Great to see you guys. Good First of all, let me talk about the vice presidency for a moment. Mark, 20 years ago today, there was a rollout of Al Gore and Bill Clinton on a bus trip out of Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. And we went sort of down uh, the New Jersey Turnpike, uh, some of us trying to catch up with the, with the bus. It was pre-cell phones. I mean, this was... I was there, I'm afraid to admit. I'm, I was there, too. <laughs> and uh, uh, it was quite a dramatic moment. It, yeah. it's, bus trips seem normal now, but it wasn't back then sure. because previously everything had been tarmac to tarmac. What do you see Mitt Romney doing, looking at it from the outside? Well, look, it's an important period of time for Governor Romney because it's, a, it's an impact moment. It's a chance when people are going to look at him making an important decision. They're going to judge him by that decision. And then the window, which has been closed on him for a while now, I think the to Obama can't, himself? To, to, to really talk about himself and what he's going to do for the country. It's a really important moment, not just on the choice, but then leading up to the convention and, again, a chance to talk about his biography, which he hasn't had a chance to do, and I'm afraid right now, the Obama campaign is doing a better job of defining Mitt Romney than Mitt Romney or his campaign are doing. So it's a really important moment for him. Well, Mike, you make that point, but what about, John, the whole question of his biography? Is he not, you know, introducing himself because there's so much in his background that seems privileged, that seems, you know, sort of out of the ordinary to Americans coming out of a recession? Well, I think, I think Michael's right. He's got to do a better job of spending some of his money defining himself instead of talking about the... Everyone knows the problems with President Obama. They all know that the economy is lousy. He pointed out here the Latino voters and African-American voters, they're really hurting in this economy. I think Romney just said that. But he's got to define himself and why his biography, why he can has the solutions to solve all of these problems. And I don't think he's done a particularly good job of that. And this vice presidential choice, I think, is going to be a very safe choice because he doesn't necessarily want to have what happened with Sarah Palin, where Sarah Palin becomes the issue. He wants someone who's going to fill in some of the gaps, someone like a Palenti or a Portman, uh, but also can help round him out, but also, as Michael says, help define what his strengths are, which he hasn't really done a good and job of. And what are his strengths? Well, his, good, his strengths are is he's a fixer. He's a, someone who can, he's, a, he's turned around economies, he's turned around businesses, he's uh, someone, and there's a one simple message, he can create jobs. And you know what? I think the bumper stickers is easy. You want a, want a job? Vote Romney. And I think that, that Romney's his whole thing is, is 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 creating economic growth. And I think that that's he's got to get back to. But does that then get him into the Bain trap, where the Obama campaign has taken his positives, as you describe them? He's a fixer. He can create jobs. And they take a look at Bain and they say, wait a second, those are the jobs that are going overseas. Well, look, it, it should be, his management, his business experience should be his greatest asset. What the Obama campaign has been able to do successfully is make it his greatest vulnerability. What, what do people know about Mitt Romney? They know he's on all sides of every issue. Uh, they know he's with them, not with you. Uh, as the tagline said the other day in, in that devastating Obama ad, you know, he, he's proposing to be a solution. He's actually part of the problem. That's what most people know about him right now. And I have to say, if the campaign keeps moving in this direction, he will have an opportunity to define himself. But elections are about choices. And the Obama campaign is making it crystal clear. It's one thing to say there's a problem. And he's out every day, Mitt Romney, talking about the problem. People get it. People get it. They're struggling. They get that the economy is slow. But they have to put somebody in charge of that. And they look at the president, and they see somebody who's fighting for working families, who's fighting for a middle-class tax cut, and they look at this other guy, and they think, boy, he's not for you. He's for your well, boss. Would you, John, if you were in charge, would you put out the tax returns and get it over with in the uh, doldrums of summer? Yeah. I mean, you might as well, a couple of years, get, get it over with and start talking about your solutions. Talk about, and, and you're right, uh, Michael, about the Bain has become a bit, the Bain of the Romney campaign when it should be one of his tremendous assets because it's a very well-run, good company. And what they did, that they did create jobs. And if you can get some ads out there about the good, the good stories that are out there, they haven't really done that to it. Put the extent. good stories out. Put the good stories out. We're going to have to leave it there. Mike Feldman, John Ferry, great to see you guys. Thank you.